Hey y'all, so uh, happy Easter. Hopefully you all get to experience Easter somehow with your families. That was the, one of the most enjoyable things about Easter is getting to spend it with your families, getting off work. With social distancing, you can still connect with your families and loved ones. But today we have a little video coming out and it is basically telling you how FSN is a game changer, what I would change in FSN. Let's get to it. I'm basically, we're going to go away from role play for just a little bit for just one video. I know some of you may not like that, but I, I've gotten a lot of questions down in the comments a lot on my... Uh, a lot of questions on my live streams and everything. Everyone just wants to know what FSN is about. What do I like about FSN? What I would change in FSN? So I decided to do a quick video on that all. Uh, I have just three uh, seasons of experience on FSN. So this is our third se season on this farm. This is our only farm that I have been a farm manager through. So some of this you might have to take with a grain of salt. Some of it may not, there are definitely more experience out there, but I get a lot of questions, so I'm going to try to answer them all. FSN is a game changer. There is no other server out there, no more multiplayer server out there that is more interconnected, more as big, or as, uh, as dedicated in all the features, all the control, all the reality it gives you. There isn't there isn't a basically a multiplayer server that I have played in that I've experienced out there that has as much as control and user ability as FSN has. Highly, highly recommend you all trying it out, trying it. It's a great experience. You start out as a contractor. That's basically to make sure that you're not going to terrorize the server, you know, create uh, chaos like some people like to do let's just face it some people like getting on servers and creating chaos and everything like that and I get it you know that might be fun and everything like that but people that take this seriously and all that aren't gonna like that type of uh, experience out there so after that you get uh, whitelisted so whitelisted I think you can basically uh, be a team member uh, run a team run a farm be a contractor on a farm then you could be farm manager so there is I think there's a few more levels I don't know exactly what they are but that's the levels of FSN that you can have and you can run uh, we are playing FSN on Medicine Creek here so Medicine Creek it is a great map it's probably the best map in Farming Simulator 19 for US standardized map I would say uh, I get it there's probably Sandy Bay and all that foreign maps or foreign country maps out there that might be a better map for FS19 but with that said is there is still a few bugs and errors that need to be fixed in that this map so some of this may be created by the map itself and not the actual FSN networks fault one of the main things I really like about FSN is uh, basically the server let's pull this up here so the server yourself so you create a name like my name is stevio number 777 so if you'd like to uh say somebody or you know you're trying to get into fsn and everything you could use this and i can actually get some bonuses i believe off of it or some perks off of you you just seen my uh, uh i think what they call it a uh, identification I don't know exactly what the name is. So I am FSN level two. Uh, I'm just a few thousand away from level three FSN level. So one of the good things about FSN, there's daily rewards. So every time you get on there, you can get some type of daily reward here. So whether it be experience points, money, or just a uh, prize box and all that. And then also uh, the levels. So how, what's the highest level? Ooh, all the way to FSN level 20. So there's a lot of levels you can go through. One of the perks 
interactions. So interactions are huge, especially in multiplayer servers. So there's a ton of interactions with FSN. Like uh, I would say the best and convenient is land the auction house so auction house starts out so there's are some like equipment you can actually uh purchase here some of it's already being bid on so in a mystery crate box and everything so look like you can uh bid on this uh star planner right here that's a great price by the way if that holds it's true for that planner uh land prices so you could bid on land prices here so there's a ton of land prices you can actually bid on. Here's some upcoming auctions. I'm really concerned. Oh man, looks like all that land is around uh, Grant's uh, house there. Yep, I'm really looking for a big piece of land that I can run as basically uh, more of a farmer friendly land, which has a big piece of land to actually do. So let's say this kind of gives you a more clear view so this is right next to us but all this is grassland and there's a lot of trees in there so i'm not really interested in that just because i don't want to clear out all that land and i don't want to deal with all them trees yes it's beautiful and everything like that but efficiency is important in fsn so uh, it looks like the equipment area is getting worked on so we can't look at that right now uh, contracts so when you start out being a contractor this is what you can do you can accept contracts some people just like staying at this level and just try to constantly do contracts so this is, this is a way to interact with other people that love farming simulator so you can accept their contract basically plow their field uh, plow their snow of their driveway there's a ton of different or haul their grain there's a lot of different uh, contracts you can do uh, dealerships there's multiple different dealerships you can uh, purchase equipment here's some new equipment they're selling so they have a pace setter all this different equipment that you can purchase for uh, basically if I wanted to buy this trailer I would basically note GPS add GPS so you can purchase this trailer right off of the equipment so a huge realistic factor right there you'd actually have to go to a dealer purchase the equipment investment center so you can uh, basically get into bonds stocks charities if you want to to so all this is huge contributors so look at that I mean 2,000 raised for farmers relief 2 million raised for farmers relief fund so this is sweet you know this is realistic I think makes another reality of the game import export so this is where you would try to sell your grain this is where you kind of need to sell your grain unless you're gonna get on here right when the crops are high uh, are selling high uh, so here's all the things I'm trying to just go into all the positives right now but one of the negatives I want to just slightly touch on is I wish they would sell buy and sell price right here just have a little the high price maybe here so let's click into Argentina so if we wanted to go with wheat you know the sell price put that at 423 and then the buy price means they actually are buying because a lot of times they are not buying here uh, put that at 397 so that is a good thing that they are doing here another thing that I would change right here real quickly is I think they need to up their actual uh, amount here so here they're selling not at a good price but Russia they're trying to uh, buy a lot of soybeans here but the the basically the amount here is pretty small so a lot of these fill orders I think the highest I've ever seen was like uh, 30,000 30,000 liters which is in my opinion you know orders especially in in uh, in real life they're usually a lot they're a lot bigger than that to fill these orders uh, they they're usually you know a truckload or something like that they usually don't get down to I get it you know there are some small companies and everything that get down to 928 uh, liters but that it gets to such a slow amount that it's really hard to uh, sell or uh, buy off your soybeans and I get it you know it should take you all year long to buy 
to be able to sell all your soybean products, which is reality. Here's uh, licensing you need to have. So you need to have a trade, export, and import. Another good uh, re, uh, in real life reality they put into this. Shipping, Here, here's shipping. So here's all the different shipping we have done. So this costs you every single time you ship. And it's not just instantaneous either. Either it takes a, a little while, like six hours, sometimes you know, 10 hours, I believe. So it takes a little while to actually ship the product. Say, uh, maybe Australia, right here. If they were buying soybeans at a great price, at like ooh, wow, 1900 bucks, if they were buying that, if you didn't have uh, soybeans just sitting in Australia to uh, sell right away, it almost be impossible to, for you to ship that and then sell that product uh permit sitter this is another great reality i think like to have a cattle permit you have to you know purchase a new permit for ten thousand dollars and it will expire if you would pay for it or having to run a, a large feedlot or something like that or a dairy farm you would need a permit to run that a dairy uh, property if we wanted to have a building permit like when i purchase my little repair shop I had to put in a for a building permit for that another cool thing is skilled trade like applicators license like you really have to have in real life CDL license so I'd have to purchase a CDL license so I can run semi back and forth horse trainer you'd also have to run a certification for that uh, timber operator so I, I would take it that's for the timber equipment operator or if I wanted to be a skilled worker in the state agency like a, a police sheriff or you know just a, a road contractor or something like that I would have to get that certification another cool and uh, maybe a lot of people might like this but uh, I'm not crazy about it I just don't like balancing checkbooks and balancing my my bank account and all that stuff so I'm not super crazy about this but it is a good option out if you like this this would be great for you so it has a whole bunch these are the invoices we paid here so so if you see all that we are paying off our liability and all that so that's almost uh what wow that was half a million dollars we had to pay off in liability accounts and everything so huge huge you know money is really freaking uh taking its toll on us we are not rich by any means but man that we just have money coming out all the time for uh, this so it's huge a uh, basically balancing that another cool thing that they have here is uh basically the bales barns and beyond so in this reward section here Right here you get these bales and uh, when you go up here you know if you want to uh, play so you can either put a bale in for a mod that you're thinking on getting like this uh, Kloss Lexion Harvester American Yellow or Construction Yellow or Cat Yellow if whatever you want to call it another thing is like this April 2020 pack here where you can get these golden bales another huge you know nice inconvenient Ooh, we got a few boxes so here's some prize boxes we can open up so it looks like we actually can purchase this so I'm gonna get this just because uh, April 2020 pack you get like a thousand FSN one running I don't really care about the collectible two prize boxes there we go that takes a little while to basically uh, to donate so we have that so all that said makes it a huge you know great experience uh one of the things oh it looks like farm boy's here with one of his new harvesters let's check this out really quick so farm boy got uh this is an in-game smaller john deere so it's a t560i harvester with a 45 foot head now that head almost looks the same weight as that harvester. So we're gonna go into why probably Farm Boy made this purchase. I uh, think that's probably going to be, man that thing, it just looks so weird. Look how skinny that harvester is. 
Uh, right now, we're talking about the pros and cons of this FSN network. What do you like about FSN? I mean, I think it's really cool because it's different, all the finances and all that stuff. I just kind of wish the main thing is that there's more ver variety of equipment. That's the main good thing I have. And But I think it's overall, I mean, it's a really cool concept. But there's, there's some things that need to be changed, but that's really the main thing. I think it's great because of the strategy, because like he said, the accounting and all that stuff, you really have to pay close attention to your uh, finances and all that stuff. I would think they, I think they need to basically either expand the finances portion or give you, like his, he said, more variety and used equipment, uh, used and not new. So all of these equipment that we have on this farm, Except this, uh, this 30 series isn't uh, new. Uh, basically, you could basically say this R series is brand new, pretty much, even though it's a 2011. Uh, the truck, that's brand new. Everything, we basically need more used equipment. Farming Simulator has some good used equipment. I get a lot of it out there. Probably isn't adequate for uh, the model or the textures and everything, but right nowadays they have a lot of good use equipment that's out there that can really help us out we're gonna yeah. go, we're gonna go into basically the price of the equipment that i think is kind of messed up on the server uh go into that quickly uh like this uh, 30 series john deere should no way shape or form cost more than this r series ever all right clutch just showed up here so a uh, clutch I'm sorry to put you right on the spot and everything. What are your pros and cons that you like about FSN? Um, <clears throat> wow, yeah, that's quite quite the question. I mean, there's just so much to it. Um, you know, the pro is just the actual immersion of it all, just being able to uh, really go in depth on absolutely everything. But I guess in a lot of it, that's kind of a con sometimes as well, because that does slow absolutely everything you want to do down. So. Being able to go onto the site and try to figure out what you need to do and plan things out, it's, it's kind of cool, the immersion of it all, trying to figure out exactly what you want to do and plan it all out. Um, but then if you just want to get on here for about five minutes and do something, a lot of the times that's just not an option. It just doesn't work out that way. And you can't change the time, you can't do any of that stuff. So that maybe could be a con in the same in the same sense for me at least. Yeah, that's another like con. I think it depends. Like A lot of times I get on early just because that's way, when I like playing Farming Simulator. And a lot of times it is uh, pitch dark out. It's like four in the morning and everything in the morning. So it's it's kind of a con. I kind of understand it too. Uh, one of the things that me and uh, Clutch have talked about a few times is like the season's length. I think it's a little bit too short. It just doesn't really give you a time to relax, farm easily. It, it kind of, it's very demanding three day seasons, I think my opinion yeah for, for sure like six the days is probably perfect way too tight yeah six days i think uh uh farm boy is right on there six days would give us more relaxation we could be could you know easily do it on the days that we want to but it's almost like a daily process now we would have to have which if you're thinking about getting a farm on here i highly recommend you would go with three to four people as a minimum just to kind of balance that out and you know it's multiplayer too so you want that interaction so that would be a lot funner i think your experience would be a lot greater if you had a team or farm with three to four people on it or basically come on here and contract a lot of your stuff out like we we're talking about doing earlier uh let's go into everyone pull up the equipment section one of the biggest things farm boy and me were just talking about this is i really hope that they put more used equipment on here i think that would be extremely beneficial and use equipment and not up the price like this 30 80 30 series when it first came on here it was the same price as the 8r uh, jhhg's 8r they recently upped that to now it's almost an unbelievable price so actually if you were going to get an 8530r it would cost you more than the newer tractor lord so i think a few use uh tractors so you can start out no farm in the u.s it's hard enough starting out a farm if you're not you know if you're not going to inherit it or you know have somebody to help you out starting up and definitely you're going to have all used equipment 
note farm that I know of basically runs all new equipment. I, I can't think of the farm off on the top of my head around me that runs all new equipment. So it would be nice just to have like something like a 4955 tractor John Deere or Magnum tractor, something used that you could use. And that way you can kind of have the aspect of getting, making enough money to basically get a new uh, tractor maybe. What do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah, I definitely agree with that because, like, then you can upgrade to the newer tractor, but you don't have to start leasing the bigger tractors already when you're, you're going to dump your money into, like, uh, like the combines we're using, like, we are dumping, like, $10,000 an hour per combine. That's a lot. Yeah, and another thing is, like, this STS-60 series, this thing fully loaded is $500,000. $500,000 for a 9860 uh, STS bulletproof uh, rotor. So that was made in 2004. 2004, 16 years old. Let's go to this S790, one of the most advanced harvesters out there today. You know, basically has a millennial mode. It can basically almost drive itself. Everything has a big tank. Everything's brand new, still has the shiny paint on it. $400,000. <laughs> like now, that i did notice one thing that has been updated so i'm not sure if that like the, the used market may be a thing in the future yeah it is yeah. dealership be. mode now right and yeah i was looking at that and i thought that's i know a couple people have been buying equipment off that now and you can actually kind of um haggle prices there with the owners so there's something and that's all on the website but the problem with that once again is you have to wait for up to 24 hours potentially for that to arrive on your farm because someone has to come and physically deliver it for you but I, I'm liking where that is going. Um, I just hope it gets expanded into used vehicles and some some cheaper stuff as well. But I do like the fact that they, that is available now. Um, it's kind of interesting because I think there's five dealerships out there, six dealerships. Yes. Yeah, so I just really... I just noticed that that you're true. That that's definitely going to be a huge. And I hopefully, I don't know. I think I just like the experience of running older equipment too. Like let's yep. say, like Sid's Modding's new uh, 9600 or 9610 or maybe the yeah. 2388 case out there if farm boy was able to get that then this uh i don't know what this is it's the That's smaller john De yeah the t560 uh john deere that would probably be a better opinion more realistic in america at least to run that an, an old uh but have it at a good price basically a new refurbished 9600 you can find today Probably you could get into it less than a hundred thousand, probably easy. Uh, and that way you could kind of run a farm and be able to change it. Uh, yep. And two, maybe that's what they plan on doing, but you know it doesn't feel the same if the equipment's new, but used old. I don't, I don't know if that makes any sense, but hopefully they just get a few, and it'll only take a few. Probably like you know maybe two or three harvesters, maybe like five or six uh, tractors, uh, maybe a few in every, uh, you know, bracket, large, medium, small, and then uh, planters. Make some old, bring in some old planters too, and some old uh, drills, uh, chisels too. You can't tell me, so this easily, if you, these are in almost every weed row of old farm country here, so you could easily find one of these chisels for probably 5,000 in the weed row that you could at least fix up. 10,000 if it was fully refurbished and everything was almost brand new on it. But you could get into that. About 13. Yeah, uh, for chisel. Now this is 130, 110,000, something like that for this simple chisel that it's not a lot to it. it. Doesn't need to have a lot to it. Something like that probably needs to change a little bit. I think, in my opinion, I get it. You know, everybody would be running it if it was only like, you know, if you could buy it at 15000 Everybody would be running it. But in reality, a lot of people do run it until they can afford, you know, the new uh, cultivating, plowing, or chisel equipment out there. Clutch and me just found out we paid what a half a million in liabilities recently <laughs> half yeah. a million dollars i'm pretty sure we have not made a single cent since we started farming yeah uh, it'd be it'd be tough to think we made any money at all to be honest i mean we're pretty close i guess but um i don't know what do we go like one and a half million bucks still on our loan i, I it's it, we're paying that loan off actually pretty aggressively 
And I guess once that gets paid off, maybe that'll be okay. But it just seems like we're paying things pretty heavily right now. Yeah, and I, I think after the loan and everything, we'd probably be really good. But, man, it, it's just I know for the first year we definitely lost money. Last year, beans, we were a little bit smarter and did a double crops and everything. We probably gained a little bit of money. So thanks, guys, for giving your opinions to this all on this rainy day where we're waiting for our crops to dry out, which doesn't look like it's any time in the near future. So there you have it, the pros and cons. There is a few things I would definitely change in this whole this whole FSN, I think it would really be, and I think some of the new changes that they're doing is really going in the right direction. But I would change a few things right now just to make it easier for us to actually make a living on this farm, make a living and not make it completely impossible to stain, run a farm and everything. But uh, you have to let me know down in the comments. Did I miss something? I know I only have a few seasons of experience on this FSN network. Many things have changed since I started playing on this FSN network, so I might have missed some of them. And I might have missed a lot of the capabilities we could do. Let me know your experiences in the FSN down in the comments. Remember to like that video. It helps us out a ton every youtuber out and it's completely free it's one of the few things you can actually do to help somebody out that's free like it it helps us push out that video to more people more people can experience but thank you all for watching and i will see you later over here on the fsn network thank you all for watching like comment and share and subscribe